so to our VPN info object we will assign f references dot VPN info object dot OBS now you know that what this is okay which we implement here in our app references for saving single selected VPN details okay so we create an instance of that using the name uh, VPN info that is we assign that to this VPN info object or instance now we have to implement the VPN configuration class as you know that each VPN server or each VPN has its own country username password and config now in order to connect to any VPN server or you can say in order to connect to any VPN more specifically a username and a password is required and of course that server or that VPN to which we are trying to connect it has a country that is where it is best and it has a configuration file you can say and as I told you the most important thing the country uh, the username and the password which we have to provide or which will come as a response which basically we will send a request uh, that is of course when we are trying to connect to a VPN server then each server has its own username and password so then of course when the password and username is correct it will be connected successfully so for that purpose let's quickly implement a model class right click on all models new dot file and we will give it name as uh, vpn underscore configuration class vpn configuration let's define the variables for example the username password country name and config then in the constructor of VPN configuration you can say required this dot username required this dot password then the country name and config then after it we need to implement another class another model class that will be about the VPN status basically each as you know when we connect to any VPN server then it has a duration that is for how much time we are connected and the packets are received that is last packet receive duration byte in byte out all these things so in order to handle that let's create a model class all models new dot file and let's give it name as vpn underscore status class vpn status let's define the variables byte in byte out duration time last packet received and then in the constructor of VPN status this dot byte in it is not required that is every time sometimes it is required so it can be null sometimes so for that purpose that's why we add this question mark with it okay so just remove the required keyword from it factory vpn status start from json map string dynamic json vpn status 
from the JSON we will get the value JSON data duration we will get and we will assign it to a variable duration time and you know that remove this equal sign so the you know that the response which is coming from the ser server or you can say from the API the, the duration we will get by this keyword okay which is duration in small English alphabets and we assign or you can you can say assign or you can say that duration from JSON data we can access with the help of our this duration time variable similarly for the other one for example the last packet receive okay it will come with this specific keyword which is last underscore packet underscore receive and we will assign that to the last packet receive that is the last packet received we can access from the JSON data it can be accessible with the help of this variable similarly for the byte in and byte out these will be the keys okay and then of course to JSON now we have to implement so you can say map string dynamic to JSON So the JSON by the same key name, okay. Byte in value of which is site byte in variable. Then of course the byte out the value of which is inside the byte out variable. Then the duration, the value of which is inside duration time. Then last underscore packet underscore receive the value of which is inside this variable, which is last packet receive. So this is all about our VPN status.